what's up guys welcome to the second video of the golang and react full stack real-time chat web application series we saw the demo of the project in the first series in the first video of the series and now this this is the second video so we'll actually start coding and i'm in a place in my uh, machine where i usually keep my golang projects so uh, i'm using linux here but you could be using windows or mac doesn't matter uh, the the commands will be the same for the terminal at least and so what we'll do now is we'll create a directory for the new project we'll say golang chat project and we'll cd into it and here uh, we'll have to have two different uh, folders created one for the back end one for the front end so for the back end which will have golang we'll say mkdir back end and we'll cd into back end and we'll uh, say go mod in it github.com slash akhil slash um, golang chat so our uh, backend project is initialized now we'll go back to create the front end uh, folder we'll use create react app so we'll say create but before that let me show you um, the node.js version that i'm using i'm using 15.5.0 i'm using this tool called nvm it enables me to use multiple node versions at the same time in my computer so it's very very handy if you if you don't know what nvm is i highly recommend you check it out because you might have different projects in your machine which which are using different node.js versions right so um, that's why i use nvm anyhow so i'm using the latest version i think it's the latest version 15.5.0 not sure but it's quite uh, quite new that's that you know i know that much at least so uh, here what we'll do is we'll say create react app and we'll call it front end so it'll take a while so what i'll do is i'll just pause this video and i'll come back so that it doesn't i don't end up wasting your time so the project has stopped building and if i run ls in my project directory then i can see there's a folder called front end and if i cd into front end i can see it's a complete react application all right so now what we'll do is we'll start working with the front end application and so we'll um i'll use vs code so i'm opening up the entire project in vs code you could be using any other code editor not a problem so you have your app js here and your index js here index js i don't think there's any uh, need to make any changes but app js what we'll do is we'll just remove whatever is there in app js and in our src folder we'll have two different folders one will be called api and the other is called components all right so now what we'll do is we'll uh, create four different components one is chat history so it's capital c chat and history and then we'll have chat input so regarding these components i've already shown you in the diagram i think how they're supposed to work and what they are one will be header and the last will be the message component now inside all of these different folders like chat history there will be two files one will be chat history dot jsx and the other will be chat history dot scss right for chat input as well we'll have the same so we'll say chat input dot js and we'll say chat input dot scss similarly for header as well header and message the same things so you'll have a file called header jsx and header.scss for the message as well all right so we can start with the chat history component let me close down all the other 
files that are opened up here. Let's we'll start with the chat history component. What we'll say here is we'll say import react comma component from react and we'll import chat history.scss into this file and we'll import message from message all right and similarly we'll go to the other uh, uh, folders also now one more file that's required uh, for each of these folders is also uh, the index file so we'll have to create an index.js file in each of these folders so we'll say index.js which will be like the main controller file in each of these components project uh, folders so here also we'll say index.js here we'll say index.js So in the index the index.js files will be very very simple there won't be much complication there for example in the chat history index.js file all we're going to say is import chat history from chat history.jsx and we'll just export default chat history so this file just makes it easier for the other components to include the chat history component all right now with the chat input index.js let's do the same thing so we'll say import chat input from chat input dot jsx and we'll export default chat input. So as you can see, we're following a very modular kind of a system uh, format, right? Makes it easy to implement and easy to also process and keep track of. So for the header index.js, we'll say import header from header.jsx and export default header similarly for message the message index.js you'll do the same thing you'll say import message from message.jsx and export default message so far so good now what we can do is we can start with our message.jsx file so we'll say the same thing here import react comma component with c capital from react and import message.css all right and i think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, add the same details for all of the other jsx components as well so let me close out these other files and here we have to say import react from react and import header.scss then all we are left with is the chat input.jsx file so we'll go to chat input it was supposed to be jsx sorry so I'll rename it to be jsx and let me check if everything everywhere else also have kept it as jsx yeah so everywhere else it's okay 
So the child input.jsx file, you'll say import react comma component from react and import chat input CSS. Okay. So this component actually, the chat input component is very easy and very straightforward. So I think what we'll do is we'll build this one first. So we'll say class chat input extends component and we'll use a render function to return div class name chat input and there's only one thing here it's just an input uh, box And when you uh, enter, press enter, it sends a prop. So prop dot send. And there's a placeholder text. It's just uh, type a message to, which is best just type a message and hit enter to send. So quite straightforward. So this is your chat input uh, component. So what we've done is we've created the project and we created our backend and frontend uh, folders. And we have um, created these four different components. We have created these different files in each every single component. And we have created the complete chat input component as well. So we'll start working on the SCSS and uh, you know all the other components as well and we also have to work on our app.js file so what i'll do is i'll keep this video short and let me check if i have yeah so i've already initialized my backend project so that that's pretty good so i'll keep this video short and i'll try and end it here and do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next uh, video of this series comes out and um, it'll take it won't take more than i think 10 videos to build this entire project it's a small project so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode.